Hello YouTube, Millennium here. It's time for another soapbox. Um, my next Call of Duty multiplayer episode, episode 7, is going to be bad teamwork on Crisis. Now, a little something that brings me into a soapbox discussion this week is about kill whoring during objective game type modes. Now, the game itself, we win somehow. I don't know how, because the first half we were doing pretty good, second half all of a sudden we just start losing, and during the time I couldn't quite figure it out, I started making myself some pretty stupid mistakes. Started, you know, rushing around corners, rushing the flags without really checking the corners and what have you. But, here's my point. Kill whoring, when you're just randomly searching through Xbox Live, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's worse than uh, a player who doesn't know uh, what to do during objective, right? This is a game of domination, but I've seen during the first couple of days of this, when Black Ops came out, like, 80% of the people on playing objective games didn't even know what, what they were doing at all, in any way, shape, or form. They, they were just running around, just shooting in the air, shooting, not knowing where to look, what to do, even though the types are the same, it's just the maps are different. But, when you're randomly searching through Xbox Live and you just come into a game and all you do is go for kills, you're worse than a new player. So, the game itself, I went 15, 17 with four caps. Alright, the guy on the other, my team goes 38 kills, 11 deaths, didn't capture a single flag. Okay, which is pretty useless. In a later game, which the theater mode decided wasn't important enough to save, um, I went, what, 27 and... 20 or something like that, and the game, my guy on my team goes 37, 20, and with 8 caps, which was, was one more than I did, which was awesome, which proves the fact that you can do capture flags and kill Street Core at the same time without, you know, without, without ignoring the objective. You can go for the objective and do kills at the same time if you're good enough. So, here's the thing, though. It is a legitimate uh, tactic that I've seen that a lot of people have discussed, but here's the difference, though. You do that when you're collaborating with your team. You do. I've heard it, it's called a, it's a reaper. I've heard it be called you're a hunter or a slayer. The people call it differently, but it's the same thing where you just get up in the enemy's spawn, you just start killing them so that they can't get out, they can't do anything. But here's the difference, though. So you do that when you're co coordinating with your team. You know, there's usually two people that defend, two people that go for the objective, and two people that go in with, you know, this kill the other team. Here's the difference though, when you're randomly searching, you don't do that. You go for the objective. And I don't like it, it is not good teamwork, and it causes us to lose more games than not. And I'd rather see, I'd rather get a bad KD and still win the game, than to lose the game get and get a bad KD. I mean, that's just, that's just a bad game all around. So, I guess the long story short is we still did win the game, but it, it towards the end it was getting real sketchy as to whether or not we were ever going to pull that one out. And uh, the end of the day, when you're randomly searching across Xbox Live, go for the objective. Don't go for kills, especially this was ground war domination, so it was nine on nine. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of chance to get a lot of experience doing a lot of kills, but if you're doing so while doing the objective, you'll get more points altogether, which is what I like to do. It's what I like to see the team do. I've been on this fire range match that the theater mode saved like the first three and a half minutes of. The th top three players on I was the third one on th the team and the three of us got like 3,000 XP just for doing kills and, and, and the objective at the same time. Between defending and capturing. I mean, that's, that's how you uh, win the game dominate the other team, doesn't matter if it's domination or sabotage or demolition or search and destroy or whatever whatever game objective type you want to play. Headquarters is another one. Work together. If you're gonna go for kill streaks, work together. Then so therefore people will know, okay, these two are going for kills, I need to go defend and then two more can go for the objective. That way, as a team, you can work together. If you're going solo, go for the objective, not for the thing else. So, I guess, end of the day, well, I don't, you know, I really don't know anymore. It's, 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 the game was old. It was my last live commentary before my t TV broke. So, at the end of the day, is I had some choice words to say to the player, and uh, I stick by them. And uh, I always will. So, until then, play the objective, not the kills.